Well, good day, folks. Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Sorry about the technical difficulties, but we do have this going now, I do believe, and I'm going to have a special guest on, and you know him well. There he is. There's his picture, Mike Lindell of MyPillow. That's right, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack gets you big savings over there, folks, but uh, we're going to be talking about election issues. There are a lot of key states out there right now. There's a lot of things that are going on. Uh, that are very pertinent to election integrity, to the 2024 election. These are taking place in states like Georgia. They're taking place in states like Michigan, Arizona. There's a case at the Supreme Court that Mike Lindell put forward, and uh, then we're going to talk about that case specifically. That is crucial to the election of 2024. There is also uh, things taking place in the great state of Alabama, uh, so we've got a lot to discuss today. So I want to, without further ado, I want to bring in my two guests today. Uh, I've got George, as you all know, uh, Behizzi, uh, and then we've also got Mike Lindell. So uh, let's welcome the guests. Please give him a hand clap in the chat. Mike, thanks for joining us, George. Always Hello, everybody. Here. Yeah, we got this working. It was like a Dominion machine on election day, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were just getting error, error after error, man. Oh, it was unbelievable, folks. I don't, I don't know. Well, it's, I'll tell you, any show I go on, I'm telling you, it's not you guys. It's me. The, the evil's attacking. It does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. I mean, it's like it attacks. But, uh, Mike, you know, I guess uh, I, I want to, you know, I mentioned uh, you've got, I, I just want to get this out of the way really quickly. You have got the biggest sale I've ever seen going on over at My Pillow right now, the $25 extravaganza. And then you've got the slippers, the slide-on sandals for $9.50. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the deals, and then we're going to get into the news. Yeah, we got these. Uh, by the way, the, the $9.50 sandals, these came in. All the sandals and slides came in uh, about a week ago for the spring, and they got the impact gel, everybody, that made out of soybeans. You walk on these like walking on a cloud. But what they did, they shipped the wrong to mixed up two of the colors. So we're, we're very long on white men's and the factory said, Hey, you know what, rather than exchange them, let's pass the savings on to all of you. So $9 and 50 cents. But the big one everybody's doing is the, the, uh, the $25 extravaganza, all of these pillows, you get two of them for $25. You got the American flag. We've got Bible verses. We've got you know, if you just like plain, they all roll into their own pillowcase too, really compact. These are the ones I use on everywhere I go. Lumbar support, sitting on, sleeping on, the my pillow patented fill. Remember, inside you got a the whole pillow in there, and uh, and uh, so you can't beat it. And then we've got sheets as low, bed sheets as low as twenty five dollars. All of those specials. Uh, it's a big because we've been canceled everywhere. So it's like we have direct to the direct to you out there, and uh, uh, we're pat oh, the, and then the kitchen towels. All the kitchen towels came in twenty five dollars for a four pack, every color you can imagine. But they, what's different between the kitchen towels and even our bath towels and regular towels? They actually dry. They're made to dry. What a concept! And I, I don't know if you guys realize that that goes back to 2006 when they changed the laws coming into our country. They changed these tariff laws and let and let all these towels be imported that didn't have any tariffs on them. Or and uh, and so then it became very competitive. So they put additives in our towels, fabric softener and lotions and all this stuff. So in the store they felt good, you know, they felt soft and lotiony. But you get them home and they didn't work. So I said, well, enough of oh, this. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah, I said, enough of this. We're going to invent a towel problem solution. Let's invent a towel like the good old days that actually feel soft and absorb. So we did it both with our bath towels and with our kitchen towels. And the bath towels, you guys, they, uh, that's a six-pack, six-piece set there, too, for $25. So there you have it. The best specials for the best products in history. It's a win, win, win. I, I want to tell everybody too, my employee owned company, my pillow, we've been attacked more than any company in world history, not in any time in history. And that's a fact. And yes. by, by you guys all supporting them and it gives me the opportunity then. So I, it, cause it's been such a, just a needed distraction. I've had to be here in Minnesota for like 
um, the last month trying to right this ship because we keep getting debanked, all these de things happening to us. And because of all of you supporting, I'm able to take off like I am now today. And I'm going to be heading to uh, uh, different states, one of them being Las Vegas for this huge event we're having. That's great. That's great. And George, I don't know if you could just, because you're running the show right now. I People, I had to give up control of my show to George. I mean, it's a scary time because this no, thing I mean, did not work. Look, I'm but, like uh, Ruben Spitzer, Spitzer, that guy from Michael Green. Spitzer Rubenstein. <laughs> I had to take over control of the election process for my <laughs> Right now, I can't do certain things. I have certain limitations. But Mike, I... I made a joke yesterday on my show on Frank's Beecher platform. I said, today's guest, it was like a joke. It's going to be Donald Trump and Mike Lindell. And it, it, it was a, it was a whole thing. And it's funny that we're doing the show now, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah now here, here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> well, I, so I was I just, with, get... I was just with our great real president a week ago in green Bay and, and he took a picture. He had a picture taken of me and me and my wife, Kendra, and he put him up. I think it's the first time he ever put up a picture. Uh, him, he personally, because I, I, I put that picture up on his social media. I thought that was pretty cool. So, That's awesome. Uh, it was awesome that he met a celebrity like you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice, George. Well played. By, by the way, how come I'm smaller here than you guys? How can I How can I get closer to the screen here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you just had to push that camera in, Mike. I mean, but um, no, I, so so people, I, I love highlighting the super chats all the time, and I'm just not able to do that. So I just want you to know it's not because I don't love you, Judy. Thanks for that last one. And then with the stream problems, a couple of people have dropped some really nice super chats at the beginning. I just want to thank you and acknowledge that. Uh, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack, uh, or you can call them at 800-568-2865. Support Mike. Uh, it really does help, and uh, it's a great company. But let's talk a little bit. Where do you want to start? You've got Georgia. You've got Arizona. Yeah. There's a huge you know, case going on in Alabama right now. Right. Joe Biden right. can't even get on the, the – he's not going to be able to get on the ballot, apparently, in Alabama and Ohio, it looks like, because he, he screwed things up so bad. So uh, there's so much to discuss, Mike, but I'll let you just take the lead here. Yeah, let, let's. Uh, I want to talk about my number one thing we've been working on is the Supreme Court case. And uh, I'm going to give you guys just a real quick background of it. Um, in the spring of 22, after fighting for what at that time, what, a year and a half, um, a little over a year and a half uh, to get our election platform secure, to get to paper ballots hand counted, they uh, and getting blocked all over the place by uniparty Republicans. Um, and uh, I, um, I said, you know what? Let's go after. Let's go at this a different angle. Well, this is the first angle I took. I said, just like any other device, if you have problems, you recall them. Like uh, if you have a bad car, you you know you might have a recall on a car part, right? And I said, let's start with Arizona, go state by state, because we were finding things that. Um, with their laws in that particular state that we were able to, we were gonna get rid of them as defective machines, take it to court, okay, on these things. So we started with Arizona, then I went to Alabama, and the um, by the time I got to Alabama, we were doing, I was gonna do all 50 states, I was bound and determined, but by then, now we you need plaintiffs in each state. Well, right away in Arizona, Carrie Lake and Mark Fincham jumped and said, hey, we'll be plaintiffs. They love the, you know, we laid out the case for them. And and uh, remember, this is not to reverse an election. This is the spring of 22. Then in the summer, the judge ruled that they didn't have standing. Now, you guys, what standing is, it's an easy way for a judge and it can't be, um, they, can, they can say you don't have standing and they don't even have to say why which they did not hear. They just shoved it out and said, you know, no judge wants to be the first one to rule against machines. Are you kidding? That would be catastrophic, right? Um, well, they pushed it out and said, there's no standing. Now, right before that, um, I had hired all these attorneys, including Alan Dershowitz, who's a Democrat. Now he's a coward, but he used to be a Democrat, right? Okay. So he's a Democrat. Well, He's the one that said, hey, of course they have standings. And he was all on board because this wasn't about Democrats or Republicans. It's about our election platforms. Do these machines, 
we need to have a trusted elections. And he was all about getting rid of them and getting to paper ballots hand counted everybody. Now, so as we all know, then they push it out on standing and here, what happens in the 2022 election? 242 machines go down in Maricopa County alone. Now, um, you can say, well, did they do it intentionally? Which they did, but let's just say they didn't. Well, wouldn't that be a defective machine when 242 machines go down that you actually brought to court eight months earlier and said, hey, we got to get rid of these machines. We got to look into this. Well, they didn't. So now you have the big theft of the 2022 election with Kerry Lake and Mark Fincham and everything went on in Arizona. Uh, and now that was different lawsuit, everybody, that they went in, those lawsuits. The lawsuit I had then, which I financed, then went to the Ninth Circuit in Arizona. Gets to the Ninth Circuit. Those judges shoved it back, or they said, you know what? We agree, they don't have standing. But they went a step further, everybody. They said, we're going to sanction the lawyers. We're going to sanction the, how yeah. dare you? How dare you ask us to, to look at this? How dare you? This is a, you, you, we're going to sanction you for even opening your mouth. Well, what they sanctioned my lawyers, including Alan Dershowitz. Well, Alan said, oh, oh, I can't be part of this now. I, you know, and he's a coward and he walked off the course. Did I say coward? Yes, I did. Alan Dershowitz, if you if you Google his name, it says coward right there. Okay, he leaves. Okay, and there's other things I could say about him, but I won't here for the sake of uh, of, of time. So anyway, um, he walks off the course, but we didn't give up. We will never give up. And then the great attorney, Kurt Olson, you guys, who has done more for this country than any attorney in history, He's the one that wrote up the first Supreme Court case that they denied back in 2020, if we all remember. He wrote that. Yep. Okay? And, yep. and that was Pennsylvania versus Texas. Kurt has been by my side for three years, everybody, working side by side. He's, he's forgotten more about elections than most people will ever know. Okay. And, and he, um, so he says, hey, we're going to bring this to the Supreme Court. Now, this, um, this was about a month ago when we brought it to the Supreme Court. But here's something very, here's a blessing, everybody. Because they kicked it out on that word called standing, when they do that, you can add evidence to it. So we were able to, this new evidence that came out in November of 2022, that our cyber guy, from two different directions, they uncovered this evidence. So two different, two different groups, okay? Well, one of the evidence is inside the machines, there are decryption keys, everybody. I mean, you can't make this up. This is like having a bank vault and, and, and a bank, and the combination is written on the front of the vault, or it's like having an ATM card and you put your password on the back for everybody to steal your card. I mean, you can't make this up. And then there was software used in Mar now specific to Arizona, which is a felony also. All these things were poured into this case brought to the Supreme Court, everybody, about a month ago. And it was docketed, right? Now, you might see a thing out there where the fake news just this week said, um, Garrett, Mike Lindell's case, it was dismissed. That's a lie. That's the biggest lie. They don't want you to hear about this, everybody, what I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Here's the update on the Supreme Court case. Next week, on April 17th, in Las Vegas, I just got off the phone. We're flying in all the, the people that were part of this case, the experts, the lawyers that are involved. And we're going to have a roundtable event from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time, okay, on frankspeech.com. It's going to be live streamed. Actually, the whole day will be live streamed. But that particular thing is a roundtable event where um, Steve Bannon will be the moderator. Remember, Steve's not, he says all the time, now I'm not totally a machine guy. Oh, you're going to be one after that day, Steve. You're going to be a machine guy, okay? And, and <laughs> so, so we're putting this forth. Now, two days later, April 19th, everybody, is the day that the Supreme Court considers whether they accept the case or not. And we need to all pray because I'm telling you, if they accept it, I'll say when they accept it. I'm an optimist. 
when they accept this, because they have deemed our, our government deemed our election platforms critical infrastructure, when they accept this, I believe it'll be a 9-0 vote, just like Colorado was, this nonsensical thing. It's so, of course, we don't want machines that have decryption keys inside them in our elections, right? So, <laughs> but, but the big- You are an optimist, Mike. Yeah. But the, well, I believe, it'll be nine, I believe it'll be 9-0. You'll have the Democrats, Republicans, and even the compromise one that'll all vote together 9-0. Um, to get this uh, done, okay? Did I say compromise? We will just guess on who that would be. Mike, no. so, so I want to, but Mike, I want to add something to this. this, this, so this. Is, I don't want to forget this because it's really important. And okay, a lot of people at home want your take on this. But why do you think judges across the country are treating election integrity like? I don't know, the, the guy that stinks in high school. They just will not touch it. They won't come near it. Why is that? Because time and time well, again, to court. Well, I can say I can say that about judges, and I can I well here I will put the judges here. I do know why it's happening with our legislatures and all our politicians, which are the uniparty Republicans. They have no reason to do this to block us, and they, I believe, are in on it. They, they, there's something wrong with these. There's like when you got your Brad Rassenbergers and your Robin Vosses. By the way, Robin Voss will have to talk about that. The, the second recall is going great, everybody. It's going to be good by Robin. Okay, it's beautiful. But as far as the judges, George, when you talk about the, when you talk about the judges. Um, I believe there's two things, but the biggest thing is fear. I really believe that's the biggest thing. You can't get, you, I don't care, you know, you see it all the time. Well, this is a Trump appointed judge and he denied this. All the cases for Dominion and Smartmatic that are sitting in DC, that was a Donald Trump appointed judge, Judge Nichols. He has made more decisions, crazy decisions you can't even comprehend, like even letting these cases go forward in the first place or telling me mine were frivolous. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're an Obama appointed judge, um, a um, Trump appointed judge, that part doesn't matter. Here's the biggest reason I believe these judges are standoffish and they kick the can on standing. Remember, everybody, no judge in the United States has looked at the evidence yet based on merit. Not one judge, everybody, in the United States. Why? I believe their fear. How would you like to be the first judge? To, to, to start this rolling when you're watching everybody get attacked that even says anything about our election platforms. Um, how would you like to be a company that stands up like my pillow did when you watch us get attacked and burned to the ground every single day? And But it's going to take courageous people, courageous judges, and it's going to take all of you at home. Here's what I encourage you all to do. If you know a judge if you know the Supreme Court job, they have their families too. They have families, grandchildren, children. Here's what's helping us, everybody. They're seeing our country getting destroyed. They're all realizing this is a battle of biblical proportions. This isn't about Democrats, Republicans. This is about evil and good, where our future is. And the, and the people are all, are all realizing that. And I believe if we encourage our judges if we encourage our judges, their families, if you know them personally, just say, hey, just be a judge. Don't kick things out on standing. Don't, don't do that anymore. Don't sanction lawyers that are voicing their free, their right to bring a case forward. This is what has to be encouraged. It's going to take their families, their neighbors, whatever, to just encourage them. Now, it doesn't matter how they, what, which way they go. You don't have to argue the point. Just say, hey, be a judge that you that God puts you here for, and look at this, you guys. A judge in Argentina, one judge is all it took last summer, and said, "Hey, we got to get rid of these machines. We've been just Argentina has been destroyed by this corruption. They've watched things happen there, just like every other country that has computers in their elections." And that judge said, "I." want to get rid of them. We need to go to paper ballots, hand counting. All the naysayers said, but judge, we uh, it's going to take too long. It's going to cost and it's too funny. Much. It's funny, Mike, because Argentina's latest election, the result came out in two seconds. It was yeah, a snap. Exactly. And yeah. so, so with this judge, like George says, this judge made this ruling. In four months, everybody, they flipped their whole country. Tens of millions 
to paper ballots hand counted. They got it done in one day and they freed their country. Taiwan, Ecuador, you can name it across the world. France, Germany, um, the UK, um, the Netherlands, they all paper ballots hand counted. You guys, we got to get there. We get one shot at this. So here's what I want to tell you all too. The, the great news today, this was three hours ago, everybody, out of the state of Georgia, okay, the Georgia GOP, and I'm going to call this guy out, Josh McCoon. He's a national hero, everybody. He's the chairman of the GOP in Georgia. And you know what they did? They put in an amicus brief for my Supreme Court case, for this case. And an amicus brief, everybody, is they're blessing this. They're going, hey, we bless this case. This is what we got to do. Arizona is following. They're going to do it in Arizona. Now, there is rumors that there's pushback down there by some Republicans, some Republican lawyers, some lawyers down there. And you know what? Let me tell you, if they're, if they're RNC lawyers, shame on them, because I want to tell this. The RNC voted 168 to 0 last August. 168 to 0, everybody, for no machines, paper ballots, hand-counted, precinct level, signature require, and voter ID. If you're, a, if you're a GOP, if you're a state chair, or you're the lawyers for the RNC, or you're the head of the RNC, no, this is for uh, Michael Watley. Any of you guys that think this country is that, that you think machines are okay, you're in the wrong business. We gave paper ballots, hand counted, and that's what you voted for the RNC. So you guys just took over. Watley just took over. He better not be trying to change thing or any lawyers in there that are going, hey, um, well, we don't care what you voted 168 to zero. We do. We're the people of the United States. And you guys represent us and you finally made a right call. The RNC did something right last summer. Don't change it now. Don't go against that because we need everybody to jump on board this Supreme Court case. Every state should be of the GOP should be putting in an amicus brief to back this case. So my I gotta I gotta share something with you. I got this uh, yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you, you know you probably know of David Cross's work down there in Georgia. He's done so much uh, in terms of highlighting uh, election issues in Georgia. But the 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 actual guy who is heading up. Uh, the lawyers at the RNC, and I actually just spoke on the phone with somebody yesterday at the RNC and found out, and th just that they're not supposed to talk about uh, 2020 uh, and and stolen and all this kind of stuff. And the guy who's heading this up in the legal department is a guy by the name of Charlie Spies. And listen to this background on this guy. In September 2016, he joined forces with Mark Elias. This is the guy heading up the at the RNC, the lawyers. He, He's one of the lawyers. He's the head lawyer? Yes. The, to, this I, is I want, disgusting. Charlie Spy, he, he joined forces with his friend Mark Elias to condemn Donald Trump as a threat to democracy. This is in 2016 in response to Trump's debate answer when asked if he would accept his loss. In September, October 6, 2016, Spies was calling Trump a grifter. Uh, saying uh, he was making money by running for office as head of Jeb Bush Super PAC in the 2015 primaries, Spies authored a letter to the FEC making fun of Trump's bankruptcies and foreign policy experience. I could go on. This this list goes on. This is the guy heading up uh, law at the RNC, and I know um, you know some of the people over there, and and, and they're, yeah, they're they're not. Yeah, so, I, well, I mean, you, just, you bring up a good point because that's exactly who I heard rumors because Arizona was fire, fi filing their amica brief on this great Supreme Court case. And I've heard rumbling that it was a lawyer, the head lawyer for the RNC. So it matches exactly what you're saying. This is disgusting. Uh, uh, Waltley comes in there as the head of the RNC. And you know what? We thought we had it bad with Ron and not addressing our election platforms and all the money that was collected in uh, at, right after the 2020 election to address these machine issues and these computers. And uh, that money was never spent. So, you know, in, so the RNC, now, uh, they have lost all confidence. Hey, Mike, with Mike, I, I want to correct you. It was spent. 
on salons. It was spent. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank that's you, true. George. Thanks for getting that out. I was about to say that myself. No, that, I did just so you guys know. I just reposted this on X. So if anybody's watching, you can go to my X handle, which is just at Neil E. Johnson, and you can get all this information on this Charlie Spies, okay? This is all real information on this guy. And right. you can start making hay because we got rid of Rona Romney McDaniel right. because the people called the state party chairs and said, get this lady you out of here. Anymore, you can do this again. You can do this again. Right. Oh, Mike, well, this well, I'm going to say right there. I'm going to tell you right there. If we, uh, if this guy blocks, like I've been hearing, if he blocks Arizona from filing that Amica brief, uh, just like Georgia just did when they were all set to file it, if this is the guy that did it, I will never, ever, ever stop talking about. Um, that's good. Um, there we go. I'm, I'm equal with you guys. Just yeah. a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I felt like I was far away. Hello, everybody. Um, um, no, if this guy, what's his name again? Charlie Spies, S-P-I-E-S. So I would think that would be Spies, not Spies. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to tell you, if old Charlie blocks that, I will spend the rest of the year talking about the RNC like they're just as bad as they were before. Because what they've done is that, that would be the worst thing you could do, not get behind the this Supreme Court case that the people on the ground, the people of this country are relying on to get rid of these machines and go to paper ballots, hand counting. Let the courts actually see, look at it once. That's all we're asking. You better get behind this RNC. Every single GOP in the country Every single state should be filing an amica brief just like Georgia just did. And if that Brian or that Charlie spy is stopping this and putting in, oh, we're just going to ignore the, the stolen election. This isn't about the stolen election. This is about future election. We can't have computers in our election. And if in that RNC, by the way, too, I'm going to say this now. They can sit there and say, oh, let's go ballot harvest like and vote early like the Democrats. Rubbish. You do not vote early. You vote same day, everybody. I will be preaching that right up until the election day. You vote same day. It's harder for them to cheat. Well, Mike, what if something happens like it did in Arizona where 242 machines went down? Well, you know what? The public won't stand for this. Why would you use the machines if you're worried about that? Well, why don't we start voting? Why don't we have a four-year vote? It's just a continuous vote, everybody. The vote early voting is banned in so many countries you can't believe it. That's even banned, I think, more than the machines because of the cheating that goes on in early voting. You don't the countries well, have Europe banned it. Huh? Europe doesn't allow mail in ballots. The majority no, of countries it's in banned Europe in, are so many not. countries it's banned in. The only reason it was put in that was put in illegally, other than my state of Minnesota here, which has a, that's another whole problem. Um, oh God. All these yeah, states no. put it in illegally because of the China virus. They put it in with these secretary of states that broke the laws in almost all these states were like Michigan. The sprinkled 7 million ballot registrations all over Michigan illegally. And then all this early voting illegally. You know why? The attorney generals in those states never fought their secretaries and states and said, you can't do this. The legislatures make the laws. Those coward or these corrupt attorney generals that in those states that did nothing, we don't know why they did nothing, and neither did the legislatures there for that matter in these red states at that time like Georgia, uh, uh, Georgia, um, Michigan, well, Arizona, on. they all had... Um, George is so bad with Ralston down there, who's passed away now and isn't in there anymore. But he was so bad, he was trying to redistrict out anybody who was an election integrity advocate. He was redistricting right. out Republicans. He was gerrymandering to get rid of right. Republicans because they dared say something about election integrity. Right. I don't know yeah, what the rot is so deep. It's so yeah, freaking right. deep. And this is why we right. get so upset. But any, any Right. Well, you got, I'm going to tell you. When you, you guys, when you see polls come out and then polls come out like Texas could turn blue, Texas could turn blue, they're brainwashing you, everybody. And then if it happens, you don't question it. Texas yeah. it would have turned blue if it wouldn't have been for the great attorney general, Ken Paxton, Amen. who was the only attorney general that I know of that fought all this 
China virus laws they tried to put in with that excuse. He fought them and he won all 12. So Texas, they found 2 million ballots, everybody, that nobody nobody talks about that, that they were going to use. That we, and Texas would have been bluer than blue because they would have stole Texas. Remember, in the 2020 election, everybody, the, the biggest state stole from of Donald Trump was California. 1.5 million votes minimum. Second only to Texas. or Texas was second at 1 million. By the way, Florida was third at 980,000. They ran out of names to pull into in Florida from the voter rolls because their voter rolls aren't as dirty as Wisconsin's, which there's 3 million extra names on there so they can do what they want in that early voting. Well, I'm yeah, telling you right now, Mike, I will spend the rest of my time talking if the RNC does not do the right thing. And, and it sounds like this, Charlie Spies, you're started in the wrong, you're out, you're off on the wrong foot, Charlie. I will call you out every day. You're going to be known as a uniparty um, rhino, just like uh, Brad Rassenberger and Robin Voss. And the, oh, they'll be and number I, one. I wouldn't even call these guys rhinos. It's good you brought us back to Charlie Spies. I mean, it's in the name. They should have just realized he he's here for the Democrats. <laughs> I know. And how did he? How did he get hired as a lawyer? Who that's hired him at the RNC? That's a precise point. Why is the RNC? Who hired him? Was it Watley? I mean, we need to find that out. Who no, hired this guy? Before? I he think he was already there. Yeah. Right. Already you know, when there. I ran, you guys, when I ran for RNC chair, do you know what I said as part of my acceptance speech, or the, I mean, my speech, uh, my promotional speech, I gave. Well, not only did I say how how they didn't address their biggest point, they go. I, don't, I said I don't care how many how many how much money you spent and frivolously wasted. I don't care that it's twenty percent fundraisers going in, twenty percent going out for big donors and micro donors that lose all the, all the money spent frivolously. It's where I said, but what you didn't do, you didn't lose five elections in a row. I told them five elections were stalled from you in a row. Because you didn't address the playing field you're playing on. When you're on offense, you're going straight uphill. And I said, that, and they said, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm RNC chair is fire all the RNC lawyers. That was one of my talking points there. I it probably didn't get me no any votes, but like I don't you. care. <laughs> I don't care. And, and by the way, everybody, remember at the RNC, they can make fun of it all they want when I ran and only got four votes. But the Rasmussen poll came out the night before the election, a year, a year and two months ago in January. And I was, I doubled Harmeet and Rana put together. I was doubled them. This is what the people in the country wanted. They wanted me, not them too, not anybody else. Why? Because I was going to address the problem. I'm a businessman, problem solution. Um, hello? You don't, if you don't, if you keep giving the same input, you're going to get the same output. Actually, Mike, you made a really powerful point there. There's a distinction between losing because you're incompetent and people don't want you versus losing solely because the other side is, you know, pulling shenanigans. Right. And that's important. A lot of Republicans will say, we, we need to stop losing, lose. I'm like, yeah. losing? We're not let's losing. Go, well, let's go ballot well, harvest. We are losing. Yeah. Right. We're Let's go ballot harvest and do what they do. No, two wrongs don't make a right, okay? And they and we we need to we have all the tools to save our country. And I'll tell you, even on like what you say there, George, about you know, did I lose? No, I the people the polls, the people wanted me, but they're not the ones that get to vote. The people, the rep, the these officials, these GOP officials, these RNC officials, the three from every state, they represent the people and they didn't vote what the people wanted. So when I went on Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimball, I call him, when I go on Kimball, I'm sitting in a claw machine and they say, well, Mike, um, you, you only got four votes at the RNC. Um, what do you think of that election? Do you think it was fair? I said, absolutely. I said, but the, it's not what the people wanted. Uh, the people wanted me. And I said, they, once again, politicians didn't do what the people wanted them, what their people's vote was. And he goes, well, do you think the election was fair? I said, 100%. There was no, it was all paper ballots hand counted. <laughs> exactly. I got to, I got to, somebody has uh, super chatted twice and I, I want to uh, just run these in really quickly. And thanks for all those super chats that you guys have done. Uh, I'm not able to get to them all. I'm not running this show, George's, and he can't even pull them up because uh, of these technical problems when we had connecting. But, uh, and again, uh, do go support Mike over at MyPillow.com. Use promo code Lumberjack, or you can call him. I should get that 800 number up there. I actually like talking to the people when I'm ordering stuff. 
800-568-2865. They'll help you get the right pillow for you and your sleeping pattern. But Charles said, and I, I'm curious about this because I don't have any idea what this guy's talking about, Mike. I don't know the technical language here. He said, but did anyone look for Python scripts on the machines? There are also CRON, Crone or Cron jobs that could run at specific times to execute a command or capture a log. Need to have transaction logs for voting machines. Uh, and then he also talked about getting Charlie Spy's name to Laura Trump uh, and he's Hydra. I'm sure Laura's already got his name, but I don't know about Python and Cron. Do you know those terms, Mike? I mean, this is news no, to me. No, I, I don't. I don't. Um, okay. um, and you, uh, um, you mentioned Laura Trump there. I'd like to. I'm going to have. A, I'm going to re be reaching out to her. They've kind of stopped that narrative of let's go ballot harvest and early vote. I think the people had a big pushback on that. It's the worst thing you could do. It, do. it is ballot, because ballot, ballot banking, banking. By the way, ballot banking is different. Everybody, ballot banking is on. Uh, you're going out. This is kind of what Turning Point's pushing to. Ballot bank. You're going out. You're going out. They have a list of people that that didn't vote or that are maybe on the edge, and you're you're getting them, encouraging them to vote. Okay, we need to get people out to vote too, not just fix the platform. But you, but when they do that, that and I met with those guys. I said, just tell them that's great, but tell them to vote the day of the election, not to vote early. I mean, obviously, if you can't, everybody, you vote. If you're voting early is better than voting not at all. Hey, but you, you know, need to Mike, vote the day of. Mike, I got to say, it's harder to interrupt you than get a fair election in the in this country these days. <laughs> I get very passionate, George. I get very passionate about this. I, I'm, 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 I'm in immersed in it. All these Republicans pushing for the harvesting. It's so good that you said that. Because they're saying, we got to play the Democrats at their own game. Yeah. Well, you can't play your opponent at their own game if the referee is not on your side. What's the referee? The referee is the system. The referee is the voter rolls. The referee is the judges that get to look at the cases. So you have to have the referee on your side. Furthermore, ballot harvesting is banned the way Democrats do it in just about every state. You can't go collect ballots for people that aren't your immediate family members. Right. So I, I really don't understand the push for the operation. I think what we need to well, do is sure with George, that brings us to that case on Alabama, which there was a law just passed in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Mark Elias crew is freaking out over it because, and I can't pull my article in, George, um, mm -hmm. just, just due to, uh, and I don't know if you can just pull that article up on the Alabama uh, ballot harvesting, but this this right now, the Democrats are filing against this. And I want you to think about how lunatic this is. I mean, we are talking about prevents absentee ballot harvesting and protects each individual's right to cast their own ballot. That's what this law does. Mm -hmm. Individuals just casting their own ballot. And Democrats are opposed to it so much so that they're going to court over this. Right. Ask yourself why. Right. Right. Uh, I no, mean, well, this was a too, huge yeah. win for us. Right. Huge win it, down it, in Alabama. Right. And there, you know, there's uh, you know, I people ask me all the time that you know they're they're going, you know, talking about Democrats doing this and this. You guys, there is a bigger picture here, and that's the uniparty that's taken our country, the uniparty deep state globalist CCP. That's what we're addressing when we try and fix our election platforms. So it's very easy. This has been easier for, for us of the people. To get both sides of people, I don't care if they're Democrat or Republican. Remember, Democrats wanted these machines gone for two decades. Uh, two decades they wanted it gone. We've been fighting these uniparty Republicans. I want to do a. I do want to do it. People, people ask me all the time, well, where can they go for what I'm doing? You guys, if you want to support this, everything that's going on in this country that has to do with election platforms, it's LindellPlan.com. LindellPlan.com, our election crime bureaus there, everything that I used to finance because until I ran out of money to finance, all this stuff, the cause of America, all these things are going on at LindellPlan.com. I'm going to announce on your show here right now that the, uh, the launch of that plan, now this is breaking news, George, I haven't even told you, okay? We, <laughs> we, okay. we, uh, we have, um, every week we do a call, uh, it goes out to th all these people, and then goes out to about 300,000 people in all 50 states. Well, everybody, we've been waiting. And last August, when I laid out this plan, 
Think of it as a sales pitch to every county in the country, okay? All 3,143. Well, in Las Vegas, we're going to announce the date we're starting that. It's going to be within two weeks, everybody, where every single county, one of the first things we're doing is a petition that we need in every county. It'll be specific to the county. And, and I'm getting involved in every county. I'm going to be doing, a, I actually personally involved because this is so important to me to, to start all this. And every county we're going to treat like it's our only county. And we're going to be bringing this to, to the officials in that county. Remember I had said earlier this year, we had over 250 counties committed to go to paper ballots and count. Everyone said, well, that's impossible. That's impossible. When we get tired of fighting them, like we are in South Dakota right now, they got big battles going on there in New Hampshire. Um, this is county by county battles going on. And who's, who's blocking us? The Uniparty Republicans. This is South Dakota. It should be easy to go in there and say, hey, come on, guys. Yeah. And it's disgusting. So we're all going to do it at the same time as we all move forward as the people in this country. I, and this will be, won't just be 80 some million people that voted for Donald Trump. This will be 300 million people that want secure elections. I'm, this is what I'm praying for, right? You know, you only have a yes. few over here and, and then the corrupt ones over here that, that are working against us. Everybody wants to have secure elections and, and trusted elections. This isn't something that's a political thing, a Democrat or Republican. So I, it really surprises me when everybody doesn't jump on board. Like, why would there be blocking? I, I can't believe you brought up that Charlie spy, because I'll tell you what, if we get blocked for people putting amicus briefs up for what we have worked three years for to get something to the Supreme Court, and then you got some lawyer that for the RNC is saying, hey, we're not going to talk about the past. There's nothing talking about the past in that brief that with that with the Supreme Court. We're talking about the future of not only the United States but the world. If yeah, that's we're just moving imagine, forward, we're uh, moving this is forward. moving forward. These get these machines. Yeah, you use evidence from the past. These machines have decryption keys in them. Come on, how would you like? Why don't you give me your computer? You guys, give me your computers and uh, show me your passwords for your bank accounts and stuff and all your passwords. That's what's in these machines. They're decryption keys. They call them like God keys. They can do whatever they want. Anybody can get in there. It doesn't take a big cyber guy hacker from Serbia to hack in there. You know, it just, there's the key. Boom. Here's what I want to do to the election. And this is down so my, to everybody. This is everything. It's just disgusting. So I, I have to, you know, because I, I do want to give people, I mean, I'm really frustrated about this. Charlie Spies. I'm frustrated about a lot of things, but I want to give people some hope too. There are a lot of people out there fighting the good fight. And yeah. we have seen, just like that law getting passed in Alabama, the Democrats may be upset about it. They may be going to court about it. But we also had a number of court wins lately, whether you want to oh, go yeah. up to Maine, Michigan, all over. The fact that that election, uh, you know, the, the voter rolls, all of this is now being deemed. And even looking at ballot signatures, this is not some sort of national security threat to look at these things. And people right. are being allowed and being told, that, yes, you can FOIA that. But I am going to be, Mike, just so you know, I'm going to be in New Hampshire next week. And I'm just going to spill the beans right here on the show. This will be the first time I announce this. I am working on a documentary from what happened in Wyndham, New Hampshire, uh, moving forward from 2020 on. And wow. uh, we're, going to, we're going to be having that come out here. And we want to get that out uh, before uh before this next election so we're gonna be really ramming through this really fast is harry is harry hershey in your movie uh harry hursty uh, no, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, uh you know I'll, although i wouldn't even mind putting him in there one of the things that we're doing is we're looking at this like you're saying this is a nonpartisan issue okay you can look at new jersey you can look at virginia yeah. and massachusetts all three states in which democrats suffered losses due to yeah. election problems this year. absolutely okay so this is this is in, 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 in the bridgeport connecticut primary i mean right, right. judge william yes. Clark yes. had to come out yeah. and say we need a, a new election it's funny because when it happens between democrats yeah. It's obvious to the world, and it's the exact same thing Mike Lindell's been talking about. Mail right. Well, you guys, it's like I just said, Harry Hershey, that's from the movie Kill Chain, and it's all about New Hampshire and all these Democrats from, from my own uh, uh, Amy Klobuchar, Kamala Harris. They all said, We got to get rid of the machines, we got to exactly. do it now, we got to do it now, we've got to get rid of them. You got, I, I tell the story every day, you guys. Um, 
right now there's a big case going on down in Miami. And it got brought up. And this is a Democrat. It's the Democrats that are really pushing. Uh, and they're, they're, they're for getting rid of these machines. Well, one of the things we used, we had one of them that wasn't on board. And we used the example in Georgia. This Democrat in a primary year and a half got zero votes in her own precinct. And her and her husband lived there. I love using that example. Do you guys know in the in the 2022 election, as I heard, I woke up on the morning of November 8th or the night, whatever it was, and it was all over the news. It was November 8th, all over the news. Even Fox, I'd say nothing news, Fox News, um, Fox, let's stay silent news over there. Um, they, they were even reporting all these machines in Maricopa County that were going down. I'm going, yes, we're finally going to, you know, they're caught. I mean, it's all, you know, they're going to get rid of the machine. I don't care if it was just defective. No, everybody would say, let's get rid of them. At that time, you guys, I was getting text messages from the state of Kansas over and over from Kansas of screenshots from my teams on the ground switching votes. Everybody wait for that. Wait for it. From a Democrat to a Republican. I mean, this and I'm going, wow, that, we got proof. It goes both ways. We got to get rid of the machines for all people. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. And and uh, um, and this is what what baffles me is why when you get these blockers in, you know, like this, like here you are at the RNC, you get a block. If this Charlie spies a blocker, I mean, you got to ask yourself, why do they, we have a guy yeah. that doesn't want our own our RNC. RNC. So they must benefit, these Republicans, they must benefit from. They must, yep. Yeah. Because if you're telling me from a Democrat to a Republican, and what about the primaries? What about the Republican primaries? They the steal Republican. them all. By the way, everybody, you're George, good point. They take everything in the Republican primaries, you guys. By the time you get your candidate, it's all been decided down here. We've got to get rid of these machines. You're spot on, George. That's it. You know how many I hear from Republicans going, I didn't even get to get in the game. I didn't even get in the game, which which brings up a good example. If I, I got to tell this example, you guys, of why you should vote same day. In the summer of 22, in Carrie Lake's race, they already had an opponent of hers They that they were going to, that they had already pre-selected. And it wasn't Carrie because she wanted to get rid of the machine. Mm -hmm. So... We told everybody, we did a national campaign in Arizona, vote same day, vote same day. Well, everybody did for Kerry. So the night of that election, if everybody remembers in that primary, Kerry Lake at 11 o'clock at night, they had counted all the early voting, all the early voting had been counted and she was down by 10%. Kerry, I got her on the phone and she says, Mike, she says, well, we'll see if the theory's right. Let's see what happens here. Cause now the same day voting votes were gonna get counted. By three o'clock in the morning, Kerry had a 12,000 vote lead with 80,000 left to count. They were coming in 75, 25, Kerry. Does everyone remember what they did? They shut her down for three days while the whole world watched this primary going, what is going on here? Kerry Lake is the winner. What are you waiting for? They probably asked crooked Brad Ratzenberger for advice. What do we do? We don't, you know, he probably said, well, you're going to have to steal it in the general election. You get, you waited too long. You should have, they, you know, you can't and tell them all to vote, to vote uh, early in the general election. Well, so what they did in the 2022 election, if I'm in their war room and I say, hey, they're going to tell everybody we can't have Kerry Lake. We got to have Katie Hobbs, our crooked Katie Hobbs. So what are we going to do? And then the guy raised his hand and go, I know, I know. Let's make the machines shut down so that we turn them into mail-in votes. So they shut down 242 machines that wouldn't take the paper and put them in a box. That's what happened, okay? So we've got to make sure everybody votes day of, and uh, um, you're, spot on, you're spot on, George, on that. It's Mike, not you, you sound, uh, honestly, you sound pretty convinced that that wasn't just a, a coincidence there in Maricopa that day. I, well, I just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put it this way, you guys, put it this way. I've got uh, probably, I don't know, maybe 2,000 computers in my pillow all over the country. Now, when you when something happens to them that's impossible, where you, uh, where you set it and they all go down at the same time, the exact same glitch, and it's not horizontal. Remember, they're not supposed to be on the internet, guys. Come on now. No. They're not on the internet. Not on the and, internet. And 242 go down at the same time. So those people coming in go, 
put the ballot in the box, put the ballot in the box. Incidentally, that was 7,000 votes every, I believe it was every five minutes or every half hour, whatever it was. Okay. But now that turned a quarter million votes went into that, they turned into mail-in votes. Isn't it funny that Carrie Lake loses by whatever, 10,000 some, whatever it was that they say she lost by, but she, she got a quarter, an a auditor, a state auditor that no one knew the name a Republican got 200 and some thousand more votes than Carrie Lake, who's running against the most crooked secretary of state. In yeah, the you know, it's, it's it's weird. So Kimberly Yee, right, this <laughs> random, I had no idea who it was. right, in one of those races, <laughs> if you're a Republican, you just select the Republican. But you, you pay attention to the Senate race, the governor race, the congressional race. No one goes to the treasurer race, votes Republican, and then not. Do it right, for, go for, and not vote for the governor. <laughs> okay, I got I got a couple of things here. I we, we were going to uh, try to time this out at fifty five minutes. So I just I'm watching the clock here on this, Mike, for you. Yeah. Um, I, a couple of things really quickly. I want to get our closing thoughts, but I want you just to let the fine folks out there know uh, about uh, what's going on with the uh, the extravaganza sale right now at My Pillow and the uh, the white slip on slide sandals. Uh, again, folks, you can just go to MyPillow.com forward slash Lumberjack. It's all right up on that page. Or you just go to MyPillow.com, use promo code Lumberjack. But it's all on the page, uh, MyPillow.com forward slash Lumberjack. So, Right on. And two for $25, everybody. These are the Bible story ones. that you. It's got the whole stories on the back. You've got the American flag. You get two of them for $25. i am sitting here with all of these. Uh, look at this American for the eagle. you got the... Um, Statue of Liberty. We've got Mount Rushmore. All these, you know, and uh, and then you've got the sheets. You got I got the bath towels, the kitchen towels. We put what we did. You know what I did? This is and by the way, it's been one of our biggest launches ever in history at My Pillow because I had to do something. You know, with all the cancellations, I'm going. Hey, let's take our products. There's no minimum. Let's go for volume. So my we're we're. A, we are an uh, employee-owned company. Why should they get attacked every day because their their CEO wants to our election platforms to be fair? It's just it's where are we as a country? And I just want to thank everybody for all your support. And um, the um, lumberjacks the best promo code too in the country. Did you hear? I did. I know. I didn't tell you that, did I? The best no, promo code in the country. I love that promo code. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks mike thanks <laughs> thanks it's a uh, it's well we are from minnesota you know whether that's yeah. fortunate or unfortunate with our state right now but yeah. um gets a i i just i kind of want to go around the horn get some closing thoughts mike i mean so between arizona georgia alabama michigan new hampshire everything you're seeing going on i know you've got a lot of hope in a unanimous court this supreme court yeah. decision but what what do you see taking place before 2020 Four. What's gonna what's what's gonna okay. stop the slot? Right. Well, there's two things, you guys, and you can check it all at lindaleplan.com. We are we we are starting from up here. The great Supreme Court we have there. We get one shot. This is divine, everybody. Everyone's got you got to get your GOP. They everyone should be following Amica briefs to support that Supreme Court case. And you guys can all support that too at lindaleplan.com. That's from up here. The bottom part is is I really believe that we're going to have enough counties in this country with our plan to approach every county machine free that we will have enough enough if we override it to remember we still got to all just vote and get everybody you can to vote same day I believe that God willing we'll have enough for our great real president Donald Trump to get back in and when he, what he said at the last rally I was with him he says it now all the time on his first day not only is he going to drill baby drill, but he also says we're going to go to paper ballots, hand counted, same day voting. And that's huge. Those are the two things. Remember, every all this stuff is a manifestation of, uh, of stolen elections or of this evil coming in. Mike, what do you think about this? I, I don't want to interrupt you, but what do you think about this? In, well, I don't think he can do that because the Constitution gives elections over to state legislatures. But what about... Uh, reversing Obama's executive order that declared elections critical infrastructure, which then allows the federal government to, you know, be the the overlords of how elections are ran and how votes are tabulated. If you just reverse that decision, I think that that 
that ends everything about it ends the the federal overreach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that I think, overreach. Yeah, I, I think that's why that's so important with the Supreme Court case. I think that's gotta be it's gotta be looked at. It's so far everything is judges, everything legislatures, they've all kicked the can, George. Those legislatures, think of all them red states where now think of Michigan. It was all red, Wisconsin, Georgia. None of them did anything when they had their chance to, to, to secure our life and to look back and say, what happened? So I think, you know, you might be right there, but there's, there'll be different ideas when that comes. All I know is whatever, um, whatever happens when our real president gets in there, whatever can be done, I think the whole country will be you know, all on board to, to make us the, the, we should be the gold standard of elections in the world. Mm -hmm. And right now we're the worst in the world. There's no country worse than the United States mm -hmm. right now in the world. You know, and what did that manifest to the borders, all this other stuff that's going on? I say it all the time. When you go to lindaleplan.com, they come to me all the time. Mike, could you put in money and help this, uh, help this over here, or help this over here? I said, no, I'm not out to save the whales. We can do that later. We've got to secure our elections right now so that we, the people, um, have people in there that we elected and not and weren't selected. You guys, we're, there's another thing here, too. This is a battle of biblical epic proportions of good and evil. If we are in an age of artificial intelligence now, where the, yeah. these things, they could frame me for anything. You could put it out there. The fake news could actually take the tools there. And there's nothing I could do. You haul, haul people away. I got my phone taken at, at a, at a Hardy's drive through They still have it. So what I'm saying is, if we don't, if we get one shot at this, if this, if this goes through now, you talk, you look at back at Nazi Germany, you look at movies like 1984 and the Terminator and all these things, this is it. I mean, it's over because we're going to be, who's going to regulate these, this new era we're coming into? Our future of our country is at stake here. We get one shot, that, but I've said it before. I don't want to leave on that note. I've said it before. God's got his hand in all of this. And when we get to this great place we're going to get to, we're going to look back and everything had to happen on God's timing and even the bad things, which are opening people's eyes to get to this great place. Now, if, if we're wrong, everyone's got to do their part. If we're wrong, you know what? It's a win-win. All us believers, we're in the greatest revival for Jesus Christ in history. We all go to heaven. It's a win-win. Win-win. You're in the greatest time in history to be alive, but everybody's got to be courageous at this time and do your part. Yeah, Mike, yeah, we are, we're, we're out of time like Doc and Marty and Back to the Future. We're out of time like Rolex going bankrupt. So, <laughs> yeah, Neil, you want to close it down? It's 57 minutes. They said 55. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I just, I just, uh, I, I, I want to say that, you know, this is like people, you can, you can have to vote like your life to on it in 2024 because it does you're going to have to drag everyone to the polls with you like your life depends on it because it does you're going to have to get involved at the grassroots level like your life depends on it because it does i mean you're going to have to get involved in your state party apparatus you're going to have to get involved in all of it because if you don't we're screwed i mean people look throughout the annals of history and how they take over institutions and the way they take over institutions is that the people who are are like what we're going to call it the grassroots or at that base level aren't that concerned they're all busy living their lives and i understand you've all got a life to live my gosh i got seven kids but uh for the sake of your children just get involved for for the love of our country lord i just pray right now lord i pray uh I just pray i pray a hedge of protection over mike i pray a hedge of protection over donald trump and i ask and i i plead for your forgiveness for our sins as a nation lord and i just ask that you would uh deliver us and bring us to revival in jesus name amen 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 That's yeah, Thanks, that's... guys. Thanks for having me on, and we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna play this tonight on my frankspeech.com. I the uh, I'm uh, thanks for both of you for what you do for our country, and God bless you.